Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. And we are at the Michigan Manufacturers Association's annual MFG Forum. And MFG, of course, stands for manufacturing, which uh, which brings us actually to George and, uh, uh, Jordan Teamy. Yep. And uh, you are with Amigo Mobility, which I think a lot of people are aware of. You are one of the speakers today. Let's talk about Amigo first for those few who don't know. Yeah, so Amigo was founded back in 1968 by my dad, Al Teamy, who started the business for a family member who had multiple sclerosis. Uh, since then, we've grown, so we do mostly grocery now. So any major grocery retailer that you see, that's who we sell to. Uh, we've also grown into material handling, and also we started a new business, Aeroto, pulling small personal aircraft. Oh, wow, okay, so let's talk about that, because now we're talking supply chain. Oh yeah, right? Yes. So was that, was that an answer to the call that we need supply chain improvement? So supply chain has been a struggle, just like with everyone else. We have an amazing team um, and a lot of longevity. So they very much understand where our chains come from and where our problems are. At the same time, only 10% of our parts are coming from overseas. So we source as local as possible, and that has been such a big help for us. Obviously, we've struggled with it, just like everyone else, but because of our team and the sourcing as close as we can to home, that's helped us keep going as best as possible. Well, Jordan, uh, that aside, there are a lot of other issues facing business right now, as you know, okay? So, one of them is, one of the main ones, is wage inflation. And, and in conjunction with that, the number one problem is getting talent, period. How are you guys dealing with that? So, just like everyone else, it's been a lot of hard work. We've been able to retain our team so well because we're very fair with them and we treat everyone like family. That's one of our core values. So between that, competitive pay, and honestly our culture has been the best way to attract and retain people. If we can get them in the door and show them our company, they almost always want to work no matter what, and they want to stay. So that's been a big help. And for wages, what we do a lot is we share a lot of our profits. That way, we say, here's what we're gonna pay you, but if you work hard, you help us be successful, you will be too. Profit sharing is a big one. That's a, I don't wanna say the golden handcuff, but it kinda of keeps people there because they got, they're part of it. Yeah, it almost gives them a piece and like an ownership in the business. All right, so being of German descent, mm -hmm. uh, we talked about this. You've got all the ethic for manufacturing. Uh, I would say quality control is number one with you guys. Yes, yeah, and you know, with everyone rushing supply chain things, we've noticed an uptick in lower quality parts. But we do very strong uh, incoming quality checks, and then our team at the end of the line is so passionate to make sure that we put out a quality product for our customers, that we've been able to manage it and make sure that doesn't at least leave the door. It's, it's interesting, you were talking about your main customer right now are grocery stores, and, 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 and that's obviously where we see a lot of those. I'm a little surprised by that. I thought there might be, are you, are you doing much online? No, no, we don't do any online. Wow. Yeah, it's been, a, it's very interesting, but grocery business has been booming this year. We have had record sales this year because everyone, as soon as the pandemic was over, sure. had to go get more groceries. <laughs> And toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. So they were a thinner group that came out of the woodwork, but still there nonetheless. So you're one of the speakers today. What's the message you're going to send? So the biggest thing that I'm going to be talking about is ways to help people combat some of these supply chain. One of the biggest things is strengthening your relationships with your people and your suppliers and your customers. The more we've talked with them, we've been able to build a stronger relationship and work closer together to get the same goal, which is to get product out. You know, there's a couple things that come to mind right away with that. One is the continuous improvement ethic, uh, and, and the other is like, uh, who's, who's accountable? Putting accountability in the right place. Yeah, so the way we do it is the person at the top is always accountable. So I'm over all of operations. I take a lot of accountability with our team. And I really instill another core value of ours, there must be a better way. My dad always said that. And that is something that we're always looking to strive for. That's kind of interesting. So what are your challenges like going forward? How do you see this? And, and give me a prediction. Tell me about what's gonna happen with supply chain and when we're gonna get back to some 
degree of normals. Oh man, a year ago, I said by this time we'd be normal. <laughs> we all did, by yeah. the way. <laughs> uh, at this point, our best guess is we're gonna see it actually get worse, especially in the electronics area. Um, but then we really, really feel like probably this time next year, we really think it's gonna even out. And I think it's just people playing catch up. It's kind of interesting. Have you been affected at all by what's going on in the Ukraine? No. Thankfully, that has not hit us yet. Well, yeah, that's, <laughs> that, I was going to say that's very good because that is hitting some a lot of people because of the supply of energy, et cetera, et cetera. Well, listen, you have done a marvelous job. We're looking forward to your uh, to your speaking event here. And uh, Jordan, uh, Timmy, thanks so much for coming with us with Amigo Mobility. Uh, keep us all on wheels, I guess, is the best thing I can say. Yeah, for sure. Thanks, Chris. Okay, thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. Yep. We are coming to you from uh, Eagle Crest in Ypsilanti, actually, at the Michigan Manufacturers Association, MFG4. We'll be right back. I'm Chris Holman. You're watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network.